Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be something that's super trendy right now. A lot of people have been doing it, and honestly, a lot of people don't know how to do it, but want to do it. So, as you can see by today's title, we are going to be doing some faux freckles. Um, now, honestly, I've only attempted this once, so I'm totally winging it for you guys today. But hopefully it turns out okay. I'm going to be using a couple different products, and actually all the products I'm going to be using are for your brows, because... Obviously, they're a little bit more subtle, soft, you can build them up, and um, that's mainly what I've been seeing people use, and it seems to turn out pretty nice, so um, we're going to be trying that today. So, if you guys want to see how to achieve some faux freckles, then just keep watching. Okay, so I have my mirror down here that I'm definitely going to be looking into, um, and I also have a couple different brow products. Now, I have the Brow Gal little like powder kit. Um, I got this in my BoxyCharm. Uh, of, from May and I know I didn't upload my May BoxyCharm and that's honestly because I was filming it right here but when I was focusing it it was focusing on this rather than on me so the whole thing's super blurry and I don't think I want to upload it because honestly it's not really good quality at all so I'm probably not going to but if you guys want to see um, more in depth on things that I like that I got in the box and just let me know but I just don't want to upload a crappy quality video for you guys so yeah I have this and it comes with three different colors as you can see um, I'll probably only stick with these two when I'm doing this but this is actually really nice I've used it a couple times on my brows and I really like it um, next thing I'm going to be using is the Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil. This is an ash tone, so it is different from both of these shades, which I thought would be really cool. And then I'm also going to be using my uh, Soft Brown Pomade from Anastasia. And then I also have my Anastasia Number no. 12 Brow Brush. And I use this so much already that it is pretty much off, but yes. Okay. So I've been seeing people do it a couple of different ways on YouTube. I've been seeing people actually take their spoolie and scrape the powder and literally just like kind of splotch it onto the face, which looks kind of cool. And if you totally want to try it, go ahead. But I have somewhere to go after this, so I really don't want to ruin my face if it doesn't work. So I'm not going to be doing it that way. What I'm going to do is I'm literally going to be taking the brush that you usually apply to the brow and I'm going to go in with this middle shade and I'm going to coat it on both sides and I'm just going to use the mirror that I have in here actually and just start to kind of dot little specks randomly. I don't want them to be precise at all. And you're going to do it in the spots where freckles usually appear, so where the sun's going to hit you. It looks better if you're not precise, so about that. And it's cool that we're using powder because honestly if you make a mistake it's really easy to wipe it away. So next I'm taking the same brush and I'm going to put this darker shade and make sure that you're tapping off the excess because you don't want it to be really really harsh when you first put it on. So everywhere that I didn't put those lighter browns I'm going to put this one. I'm just going to kind of keep layering it everywhere and taking it a little out to where my highlight is. And I am not being precise at all, like literally at all.
Okay, so as you can see, I have a bunch of little specks everywhere just from the powder. I'm now going to go in with the brow pencil. And this one kind of has like a weird angle to it, similar to the brow definer. But I'm going to take the smaller, like more precise side and just kind of like lightly press. Because this will give a little bit more like a faint. I'm almost like putting it on and then kind of like turning it. So now I have a bunch more going on. I'm now going to go into the soft brown um, pomade. Mine's literally almost gone and super dried out. And I'm going to go back in with the same brush that we were using earlier for the powders. And just grab a little bit from the very bottom. Like the tiniest amount. And just kind of go in some of the bare spots. Okay, so now that I have that part done, honestly you could probably skip it because I didn't do too much. I'm going to go in with my already used Beauty Blender from when I did my face earlier. I did my concealer with this and um, I kind of used a little bit of powder to bake. Um, so I'm going to have that kind of left on there and I'm just going to roll lightly over all these spots. And almost like pressing and rolling. And then I'm going to take the other end and just press and just keep alternating back and forth. Basically just dims them down a little bit. Actually really happy with how this is turning out okay cool so now you can just go back in and do as many as you'd like I'm gonna go back into the powder first one that we use and just kind of dot over again just to deepen up some of those spots And then the same thing. Just keep alternating between the two. You almost want it to look like they're under a layer of skin. Also, I did my hair super different, so if you guys want to see how I got this tutorial, it will be linked down below because I filmed it right before this one. Oh, I have my hair. Okay, so I kind of wanted to just zoom in for you guys so that you could see kind of the freckles that we're working with. They're super natural. Honestly, I didn't want to do something too over the top. You can totally go ahead and add more, but for the look that I'm going for, honestly, I just wanted something super, super subtle, nothing crazy. Hopefully, you guys can actually see it in the camera. Um, but yeah, that's that. That is this freckle tutorial. Honestly, go ham. Just kind of work around with different colors and different products and make sure that you go over top of it with a beauty blender because that's what I've noticed um, really does a good job at kind of muting them down a little bit more. But overall, I'm super happy with how it turned out. So if you guys did like this trail, then don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you are new to my channel, thank you for stopping in. Hopefully you're digging it uh, and you hit that little subscribe button as well. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next one.